down in that sea of gas guzzlers are a few pioneers. Drivers like Mindy Kemble are making a small contribution in a very small car. When people look at me on the highway, it's kind of fun and people wave at me and I wave back. <laughs> She's behind the wheel of a car that is all electric. I have not had to change my daily routine almost at all. I, I've actually saved a little bit of time because I don't make that weekly trip to the gas station and it's been wonderful. Mindy Kimball is the country's first owner of an electric smart car, a division of Mercedes-Benz. The smart car is part of a class of new vehicles powered not at a pump, but by a plug. So you ready for the Pinewood Derby? Oh, yeah. Kimball is a major in the U.S. Army, and about a year ago, while flying home from her deployment in Iraq, she had an epiphany when she saw all the oil platforms in the Persian Gulf. It just really hit home for me how much oil we get from that area, how much fossil fuel we, we use, and how little of it that we have for the future. So this is your car, huh? Mm-hmm. You're all set. Kimball decided that as soon as she returned to the U.S., she would put her name on waiting lists at all the electric car dealerships near her home in suburban Washington, D.C. Give me a high five. <laughs> I saw that it had a lithium ion battery. Nice. It's a good that's a good battery. I have no idea what that means, <laughs> but um I'm pretty sure it's pretty cool. It's pretty good, yeah. With my gas powered car I was spending about forty five dollars a week to uh, fill it up with gas. And now that I have the electric, I'm spending about five dollars a week on uh, electricity. So it's about one eighth of what I spent before for my commute to power my commute. Over the next year, more and more Americans will be likely getting into electric cars. Two reasons the atmosphere at the Detroit Auto Show is electric. Ford rolling out an all-electric version of its Focus sedan. It could be the new gold standard for fuel efficiency. The buzz is everywhere. Automakers from around the world are rushing out with their own electric models. From the magazines to the billboards, to the auto shows, to the TV ads. The Volt only needs about a buck fifty worth of charge a day. It seems like the age of the electric vehicle may finally be here. 